Hi friends, in the last video we covered very clearly how to use a while loop and what are various small small applications right. Sir, now what is the next topic I have to discuss? Infinite loop. Sometimes the loops can execute infinite number of times uh, without stopping also. There is a possibility man. Sir, can you please give an example where the loop is going to execute infinite number of times. Uh, best example, here see this one sir. I am taking i is equal to 1, i value at the 1. Sir, while, while, true, directly I am taking true, sir. Actually, it, it is expected in some condition. So, condition, at last it may return true or false, sir. Directly I am taking true. True means, sir, this body should keep on execute, right, okay. Now, here I am taking print of hello, hello, next uh, i value i am printing hello i so hello one hello two like uh, and uh, then i is equal to i plus one sir that's all a simple code what i am taking sir can you please tell when this loop is going to be stopped observe that i value is one while true sir now can you please tell the condition is the true or not true if it is the true execute the body now hello hello colon i value one and then i value will become two sir next uh, again condition is the true again condition is the true again execute hello two sir now i value will become three again condition is the true hello hello three sir again so this uh, cycle will be repeated when it will be stopped sir this program never going to terminate sir keep on execute 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 like this right so this type of concept is nothing but what infinite loops so sometimes the loops may entered into infinite loops also take a bit very special case sir have a look once sir i'm taking a simple example a simple a simple example sir here i is equal to 1 okay while true i'm taking while while true i'm taking print a uh, print a uh, hello hello i value and then i is equal to i plus 1 i'm taking sir that's all simple code yes long yes this condition is the true directly we are taking true only this body will be executed keep on keep on keep on keep on keep on never going to be terminated sir okay do you know here observe carefully what the answer sir do you know keep on keep on keep on executing only okay like 13 14 15 thousand 18 thousand like uh, now it's it's keep on executing even tomorrow at the same time if you are going to come yes at that time also it's keep on going to execute sir take a bit very special care about this one how i can stop this one sir control c from the keyboard if you want to stop control c that's all sir control c now it got the stopped right sir now sir if you have by mistake if our program entered into infinite loop like this how you can solve this problem where you have this type of requirement right sir very very simple so i will take while while true sir while true true sir execute this is the body this is the body after executing this body sir if if our required condition if our required condition satisfied if our required condition satisfied satisfied then i will use a break statement right okay anyway so we didn't cover about the break next i will discuss so if our required condition satisfied then i will use break if you are using break then you will come out of the loop sir so if our required condition not satisfied then again execute the body execute the body so this body keep on executing okay until our required condition satisfied if our required condition satisfied just simply use break so if we don't know number of iterations in advance best loop is while loop only have you observed right how many times say this while loop is going to execute we can't tell we can't tell so once a condition falls a condition fails then only it will be stopped it may be 10 times or 20 times or thousand times also okay it's a very common requirement sir having defining as infinite loop but break that infinite loop based on our requirement based on our condition right such type of requirements also there maybe in the future example you may get much clarity are you getting right so so what is infinite loop can you please give an example for infinite loop clear right sir up to this what is the meaning of infinite loop is that clear now the next small concept nested loops concept right 
what is this concept can you please spell out nested loops sir what is the meaning of nested loop ah the name itself indicates have you observed nested loop inside another loop loop inside another loop another another loop loop like so sometimes we can declare a loop inside another loop such a type of concept is called nested loops or inner loops concept right okay sir how you can use can you please give an example you people may ask uh, let me go for a small example sir what's my requirement is take a very special care about this one i'm taking for for i in range a for i in range of 3 3 i'm taking sir for i in range of 3 for loop i'm taking next uh, for for j in range a 2 i'm taking for j in range of 2 2 now print of j value print print of instead of ij just uh, i want to print uh, hello hello like this i'm taking sir this is my requirement sir now take very special care sir so it is a for loop inside for loop i'm using another for loop i'm using another another for loop this is nothing but nested loop concept loop inside another loop is called nested loop can you please tell how many times hello will be printed yeah you have to analyze how many times hello will be printed okay very simple sir for i in range of three 3 for i in range of 3 can you please tell what are possible values of i range of 3 means uh, so do you know range of n range of n means uh, 0 to n minus 1 0 to n minus 1 so range of 3 means uh, 0 to n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 2 so the possible values of i are 0 1 2 means uh, this outer for loop this total body will be executed how many times right three times uh, sir whenever i is the zero it will execute one time whenever i is one it will execute again whenever i is equal to two again it will execute okay like. sir now observe for a j in range of two j in range of two can you please tell what is the possible values of j the possible values of j are 0 comma 1 so 2 2 means 0 1 just now i told 0 to n minus 1 okay 0 to n minus 1 0 comma 1 so this loop will be executed how many times two times so first j is the 0 it will print hello and j is the 1 it will print hello like this right so first i whenever i is 0 this loop should execute at that time j is equal to 0 hello will be printed next uh, again j is equal to 1 hello will be printed like uh, so for i is equal to 0 this inner loop will be executed two times uh, next uh, similarly i is equal to 1 i is equal to 1 again j is equal to 0 hello will be printed j is equal to 1 hello will be printed observe very carefully sir hello same story if i is equal to 2 also so for every i value inner loop will execute for every inner loop inner loop will execute two times that's why total how many times hello will be printed sir six times hello will be printed correct or not okay have a look once just i'm taking here sir observe carefully sir for i in range a uh, three sir for i in range of three for j in range a uh, two sir two sir print a uh, hello hello like this i'm taking sir print of two sir can you please tell what are possible values of i zero comma one comma two the possible values of i i are zero comma one comma two sir what are possible values of j sir the possible values of j are 0 comma 1 okay so whenever i value is 0 sir this loop will be executed two times whenever i value is 1 this will be executed again two times whenever i value the two again two times sir total sir hello will be printed how many times right six times will be printed. have a look once 
Available quants, how many times, right? Sir, three followed by three. Total, six times it is going to be printed, sir. So, first two times printed. First two times printed whenever i is equal to 0. Next two times printed whenever i is equal to 1. Next two times printed whenever i is equal to 2, sir. Regarding i is equal to 0, i is equal to 1, i is equal to 2, sir, like that, 6 times it is going to print, sir. I hope you are in the position to understand what is the meaning of nested loop. Clear for all of you, right? A loop inside another loop is called nested loop. Sir, now let me go for one more example. You may get much clarity. Same example only in different style I want to take. Observe carefully, sir. Here my requirement is sir something like this is my sample code for i in range a 3 for i in range of 3 can you please tell how many times uh, this loop will be executed three times uh, i is the 0 i is 1 i is 2 just now i covered next up uh, for for j in range a 2 sir this inner loop will be executed how many times two times uh, now print of print of okay here i i is equal to okay like replacement operator in string form i is equal to comma j is equal to okay dot format of dot format of i comma j just uh, i'm trying to print uh, what is i value what is the j value like this i'm trying to print sir that's all can you please guess what is the output we are going to get? If i is equal to 0, for i is equal to 0, sir, now this loop is going to start. Now j is equal to 0, so i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0 will be printed. And then j value will become 1, because the possible values of j are 0, 1. The possible values of i are 0, 1, comma 2 okay now zero comma for j in range of two zero comma one like sir now i the zero j the zero completed now sir after j the zero go for next iteration now j value will become one so i is zero j is one so whenever i the zero j will be zero j will be one this loop will be executed again after this go for i is equal to one Whenever i is equal to 1, again j value 0, j value 1. So j value 0, j value 1. Observe. So this one, if i is the 0, j will be, inner loop will be repeated two times. Next, uh, here i is 1, j will be repeated again. Similarly, i is 2 i is equal to 2 2 like uh, sir j is equal to 0 i is equal to 2 j is equal to 1 that's all this concept is nothing but nested loops uh, but please make sure just uh, by simply listening you may not get much clarity man once uh, if your fingers are there on the keyboard or otherwise you are writing on the paper and analyze then you people can get much clearly okay that's all it's not uh, no big special so whenever i is i is the zero this loop will be executed so this loop how many times sir j value zero j value one like this is the output we are going to get sir let me execute this code have a look once very carefully sir here i'm trying to take same terminology only sir i okay one minute for i in range of 3 3 for j in range of 2 sir 2 print of print of i is equal to comma j is equal to j j is equal to like i'm taking dot format of what is the i value comma what is the j value like this i'm taking sir can you please tell what are possible values of i 0 comma 1 comma 2 what are the possible values of j sir the possible values of j are 0 comma 1 so whenever i is 0 j values will become 0 and 1 whenever i value is 1 j values become 0 and 1 whenever i value will become 2 j values will become 0 and 1 again and again so what output we are going to get i is uh, 0 0 i is 
whenever i is equal to 0 0 inner loop will be repeated two times j is equal to 0 j is equal to 1 whenever i is equal to 1 j is equal to 0 j is equal to 1 whenever i is equal to 2 j is equal to 1 0 j is equal to 1 that's all sir so with pleasant mind uh, analyze this code so happily you can able to understand right sir now i hope you people can aware what is the meaning of nested loop the loop inside another loop is the concept of all nested loops clear right